can you solve this this problem was shared on facebook with a claim that only one in a thousand people could figure it out it soon generated controversy and it now has over 3 million comments in this video i'm going to present what many people believe to be the correct answer can you figure it out give it a try before watching the video so most people agree that the answer should be 96 the pattern in each line is take the first number and add it to the product of the first and second number so for example the first line is 1 plus 4 so we should interpret 1 plus 4 as 1 plus 1 times 4 this will be equal to 5 the second line which is 2 plus 5 should be interpreted as 2 plus 2 times 5 and 2 times 5 is 10 and adding 2 get us to the result of 12. The third line of 3 plus 6 should be interpreted as 3 plus 3 times 6 and that is equal to 21. This means the final line of 8 plus 11 should be interpreted as 8 plus 8 times 11 and 8 times 11 is 88 and adding 8 get us to the answer of 96. There were people, however, who disagree with this interpretation. They believed the answer should have been a different number, which is 40. How did they arrive at this answer? They thought the puzzle should be interpreted as a running total, where you add up the numbers from each line. So the first line of 1 plus 4 equals 5 is a correct mathematical result. In the next line, where you have 2 plus 5, you should preface that by adding the result of 5 from the previous line. When we add 5 to 2 plus 5, we get the answer of 12. And that matches what is given in the original problem. We now add 12 to 3 plus 6 and that gets us to 21. This interpretation is consistent with the information that we are given. If we continue the pattern, we then take 21 and add that to 8 plus 11. And that gets us to the other answer of 40. So many people were debating whether the answer should be 96 or whether it should be 40. There is a way to reconcile these two approaches and we can see that the answer of 96 can be justified under the running total method. So let's see how that's possible. So when we have this running total of different numbers in each line, notice that the first number we are already adding are 1 and then 2 and then 3. If we continue this pattern, we might think that the next number we should be adding is 4. What about the second number? Well, we have 4 plus 5 plus 6. Logic should suggest that the next number should be 7. So the next line should be 4 plus 7. Now this is is not part of our original puzzle but if we were to continue the pattern from the original puzzle we have this extra missing line that could be placed in there so now what happens if we take our previous total of 21 and add it 4 plus 7 we get the answer of 32 what would be the next line well we would want to increase 4 by 1 to get 5 and we would want to increase 7 by 1 to get 8 so the next line would be 5 plus 8 we therefore take 32 plus 5 plus 8 and that gets us to 45. We continue the pattern. The next line should be 6 plus 9. We add that to our previous result of 45. We get 60. Then we have 7 plus 10. We add that to 60 to get 77. And when we continue the pattern, we once again get to 8 plus 11. I will add our previous result of 77 and then we get the result of 96. So under this interpretation we also get to the answer of 96. We only need to adjust the running total by putting in some of these missing lines that are not part of the original puzzle. But this makes sense. If we were to interpret the first number and second number in each line, so under this interpretation of running total, we also get that the answer is 96. Therefore, it seems very likely that the answer to this original puzzle should be 96 because under either interpretations, we get to this result. Thanks for watching and loving me and supporting me. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Take care.